Hi, in this video I'm going to talk about the scavenge pump system on the M96 engine for the Porsche uh, Carrera 996 and also used on the Boxster 986. A similar system is used on the later engines as well on the 987. This particular system is required because on a flat 6 engine or on any flat engine the oil which gets to the heads is pumped up to the heads by the oil pump. Um, it on a normal inline four engine or V engine, the oil can easily drain back to the sump. But on these engines, uh, some of it can't, so it's going to sit in the heads and it must be pumped back to the sump. Now, in these engines, this is done using a scavenge pump. This is the actual pump here. So normally this would sit on this end of the engine. It's driven by a slot, which you can see in there, off the end of the camshaft. And what this does, it takes the oil, which under normal circumstances runs down here, down to the bottom of here. So it goes through these holes here and also obviously drains from the camshafts above, down through these holes here. And then that is picked up. There's a hole there, which then goes up through to this slot here. That slot there, it's that slot there. And then as the pump rotates, it basically pumps the air and oil mixture from this side through to there. These are the actual gears from inside the pump. So if I take this out, you'll be able to see how it operates. So the air oil mixture comes in through the slot on the side. And then it goes in through this G rotor pump. Um, and then basically it's, as this rotates it pumps the mixture across this gap at the top so it moves it from one side across to the other and out through here now obviously the direction that this pump rotates dictates whether the air oil mixture is moving that way or that way which is why on this head the pump rotates in the opposite direction to on the other head because they're on opposite ends of the engine so they rotate in opposite directions. Now, under normal circumstances, when the vehicle is on a flat surface, um, it, the oil is going to run down this slot here, down to here. Unfortunately, when the vehicle is braking very hard for a long period of time, the oil that would normally run down here is going to collect up at this end. And when it collects up at this end, um, you can get a, a build-up of oil in this area and it's understood by many people that this can cause problems with fracturing of the tappet chest when you basically get a build-up of, of oil around there and you get a hydraulic lock. So this is the actual tappet chest here. The, the metal around here is not particularly thick and it can, it can fracture that. Um, so that's one issue and also it's generally a good idea, of course, to keep the oil down in the sump whenever possible. So it's good to return as much as possible. Now on the earlier engines, on the air-cooled engines, and also on the turbo and GT3 engines, on the, the, the Metzger engines as they're known, um, the oil pump that's used on the head, the scavenge pump, picks up from both ends of the head. So it has a pickup at this end and a pickup down here. This system has also been used on the later engines on the 991 series, where they also have effectively four scavenge pumps. Um, I'll just put a picture in now. So this picture shows the oil pump from a 996 turbo. And as you can see, there are two inlet ports and one outlet port. Now, when Porsche were developing the M96 engine, they did the X51 version of it. And on the X51 version, um, they obviously realised that this was a problem. So this problem that you get, it will happen if the vehicle is braking for a long period of time, or also if it's going around long left-hand bends. So this is the right-hand side of the engine as you're looking at from the back of the vehicle. So as you're going around long left-hand bends, the oil is being pushed over to this side and pushed over to the front. So you're going to get a build-up in this corner under left-hand corners particularly when braking at the same time. And um, likewise on the on the other head, on this side, the build-up would be down here. So you're going to get the build-up when accelerating hard and going around right-hand corners. 
Now, because cornering forces can be generated for a long time, obviously for long corners, um, and you can generate significant braking forces for a reasonable period of time, you can't really do the same with acceleration. These, these engines are not capable of generating the same acceleration force as they can for braking. So generally, the problem occurs on this bank, in this corner. So what Porsche decided to do was to add a second stage to the pump. So they did a dual scavenge pump with a pickup pipe. So this is the X51 oil modification, which has a, a hole drilled in the cover down here, and an oil pipe, which runs along here, down to this end. Now, they made a scavenge pump for this, which was a dual port scavenge pump. And so there's a picture of it here. So on this, as you can see on the pump here, there are basically two G-rotor pumps um, which run together. So they have a separate inlet for each pump and a common outlet. So they're both pumping back to the same location. Now, Porsche made this pump originally for the 996.1. Um, they upgraded the design a bit. And unfortunately, when they upgraded the design, they, they modified it so that it, it basically runs backwards if used on a 996 engine. Um, it runs correctly for a 986 because on a Boxster the pump needs to be put on the other head because the, the problem moves to the other side. Um, so it runs the correct direction for a Boxster but backwards for a 996. So basically Porsche don't produce this, um, this pump anymore in a, a correct, for, for correct for this application. So what I've done is basically made my own version of the pump. So this is basically made using standard oil pump G-rotor parts. Um, there aren't actually any gears in, in this one at the moment. Um, so it has a two-stage pump. So this pump here picks up from the standard place and the second set of pumps behind it picks up through this pipe, which has got an O-ring o -ring seal on here, which goes basically on there. So it's got two stages of pump and then they both exit through this slot here. So you can see the, the gap there through to the, the second set of gears. So by doing this, we can then get more effective scavenging back to the sump. Um, I didn't particularly like the, um, the offerings that were available on these pumps. There's very few people actually make them. Um, so I based this one on the design of the, of the X51 pump from Porsche. Um, and the idea is that we're going to be testing this on this engine and also on another engine. And then assuming all goes well, um, we'll put them into production. All of the capacities for the pump are very similar to the standard Porsche pump. So the, the G rotors, although it is actually a different set of gears, the pump capacity is very similar. Um, except obviously you've got twice as much of it. Um, so we're gonna get this installed on the vehicle and see how it works. Um, but that's basically why you want to run a second scavenge pump on the M96 engine and the benefits of it.